is it that draws the electron to the nucleus? The electromagnetic force, the charges. And as the electron changes position around the nucleus, it's going to lose potential energy if it goes from this position down to this position. And when the electron changes its position or its orientation around the nucleus, it loses that energy in the form of light. Remember that the energy change of the electron relates to the energy carried by the light. And that energy carried by the light, sorry, light relates to the frequency, the wavelength, and therefore the color that you're going to see as a result. To detect the, the wavelengths coming off of each element, I'm going to hand out these spectroscopes. Now, you guys saw earlier today, looking through those diffraction gratings, your original light source was in the middle, and off to either side you saw what? The spectra, the rainbows, right? Going off to either side. So what the spectroscopes do is you're going to aim the little square window on the spectroscope straight towards your light source. And when you do that on the inside of the spectroscope, They have a chart with different nanometer readings so you can know exactly what wavelength you're looking at. But when you look through this, sorry, here's a little square window that you aim at your light source. When you look through this, you should see a rainbow off to one side. What you're going to be interested in is if you look directly at the light source, do you guys notice the banding? Yeah, ignore the background rainbow, just pay attention to the banding. Do you guys see that, the discrete spectrum? When you're going through each spectrum, I would advise writing down three, or if you see really f four good, clear lines, write down the wavelengths of them. You do not have to write down the wavelengths of every single line. I have to tell you, like, neon has a zillion of them. Don't go insane trying to write them all down. Just pick a few that you see are particularly bright. Be careful about your observations. Three, seven, eight, mm. and like cyan, kind of. Um.